Nigel Pack, the transfer from Kansas State, is out today. He's under the weather, did not practice yesterday. So Miami, for the first time this season, has a different starting five for Jim Laranek. Miami's got Virginia coming up on this court on Tuesday as they try to get to 11-1 on the way there in the 2-0 lead courtesy. What do you think this feels like for Mr. Joseph? He's come off the bench 47 straight games, and he gets his name announced, gets the start today, and a nice take from St. Francis' freshman Landon Moore to tie the ball. Landon Moore had the first two. Kicks it out for McCabe, and St. Francis jumps in front. Do not be deceived by this record. Another three, this time from Moore, and it's short, rebounded by Jordan Miller, who's having one heck of a season, coming off a 25-point game last Saturday. Bensley Joseph to the basket. See, that's the explosive ability. They don't go to the offensive lap. St. Francis coached by Rob Krimmel, the red flash lifer. And that's not exactly what uh, Josh Cohen has faced here, a guy like Omir inside. Look at Wong come from the weak side. Great anticipation. Landon Moore pulls up and banks it home, his second bucket. Right now Miami's just playing, you know, looks very casual to me, no sense of urgency yet. It's early in the game and the day, and that's pretty from Isaiah Wong. Barely knew how to dribble. Not taking it coast to coast himself with a tricky left-handed finish. Joseph the other way. Wong is open. Got it. Yeah. The long triple is a long rebound that leads to the transition. Cohen going to work on Omir, and that's what he can do. That's the skill set right there. High off the glass <laughs> over that left shoulder. Wong in the lane, nicely done. So smooth. Pretty good ball movement from the red flash. Sets up Landon Moore for three. All of Miami's defense was loaded to the strong side. You're the three and eight team from the Northeast Conference coming into the U. Pretty pleased with the flow of the start of this game, but the answer from Bensley Joseph. You asked how he was feeling? That's a confident shooter right there. Shot clock winding down. Cohen just has a knack for putting the ball in the hoop. When you talk quality of catch with him, that's what I'm talking about. St. Francis from Loretto, Pennsylvania. On the drive, nicely finished by Landon Moore, who's got a quick nine points in the first nine minutes. I thought Beverly did a great job of defending NC State's backcourt. Beautiful pass. Cohen caught it in the right spot again. And they've stayed in the zone now. This is the third or fourth possession, and it has worked. It's helped them separate a little bit from Miami early on. There's the first bucket for Jordan Miller, the transfer from George Mason. Rennell Giles making his return to the lineup. Comes up empty. Beverly the other way. Finds Poplar at the rim. you got to communicate. By two here in the first half, it's their inside-outside game. A couple years ago, he had a 37-6 and six with no turnovers. But uh, his career-high eight assists came in his last game last Saturday. Corner three, money. Poplar buries it. I think he's a tremendous teammate. Let's start that triple-double watch early. He's got seven, two, and two. But an answer from the other corner, Marlon Hargis. He never starts with his basketball skill. He starts with his spirit, his energy, his passion for life, his joy. The athleticism lives up to the billing, too. 6'7", 248-pound bundle of positive energy. And the answer from Brad McCabe. St. Francis has four first-half threes. Wong. Defended pretty well by Gregory, but... Anthony Walker has hit a lot of shots from that range throughout his career. Rennell Giles Jr., pretty good defense by Omir, but Jr. stays with it. Rennell Giles in the book for the first points of the day. Not a lot of coaches would have answered the question. He talked a lot about Virginia. He said, we spent all offseason preparing for Virginia. That's what his answer was. The fourth and fifth blocks of the game for Miami came on that last possession, getting a shot clock violation, and Jordan Miller inside with his second field goal. 
going down the coaching path. Another steal for Omir. Norchad, Omir! Just five ties, nine lead changes in the first half. But that's where we are. When we watched St. Francis work out last night, we knew they were prepared for the game. Second bucket for Anthony Walker. But they've taken care of the ball. They've played steady. They've relied on this big man who can score against multiple defenders inside. That is all Landon Moore. So now you get some confidence. Now you want to bring two to the ball because you know somebody's going to be open. A lot of traffic in the lane, but pushed up and in by Walker. Awkward fall there for Wilga Poplar, but he did pop back up. Final minute of the half. Moore hangs in the air, scores, plus the foul. Working on Walker. Wong the steal, looks at the clock. Wong, all by himself, beats the buzzer to tie the game. Omir, he, he's a two-handed rebounder, and you're not taking it from him. Miller baseline two. Good job by Coach L. First play in the second half. He's never beaten St. Francis of Pennsylvania. Trying to do that for the first time today. Wong, teardrop, gets his own rebound, fakes it, takes it, makes it, and one. Full court pressure continues, and St. Francis handles it again. McCabe for three. Stick back up and in for Land. Cohen lost his footing, spinning around, and Wong sneaks away with effect. No look, Poplar, yeah! Moore to the bucket. Cohen on the stick back, gets it to go, and the foul. This is where you want to trap in the corner. You got two guys over there, you had numbers. Clock winding trap. down, Omir sees it, makes it! Ten days after taking down the big red, they're trying to do the same to the red flash, but Josh Cohen has other ideas. He's now got 14. You know, every week, a new fan base is going to be exposed to North Chad O'Meara. And with how much joy he plays with, it's fun to see. Miller's trying to put a shoe back on at the other end of the floor. Sure thing. Just a freshman. He has not played like a freshman today. Got a career high, 19 points. Wooga Poplar responds for the U. Who in the NEC is going to be able to guard him? Great point. The tallest guy on the floor today against an ACC opponent. There's Isaiah Wong, dialing long distance. Big block, A.J. Casey. This is fourth block of the season for the freshman. Oh, inside, Poplar! He's got 21 assists and counting in his last two games plus today. Wong again, maybe great for himself this time. Two. Yeah. Horns. Omir going to work on the block. Too easy. Ten points, five rebounds for Norchad. Corner three, McCabe, got it. That's a tough contested two. Early in the shot clock. Long. That leads to a run out. One on three, he scores anyway. That's how quickly the game can swing. If we lose, I'll go eat at home. If we win, I'll go out to eat. And as soon as the game ends, I'm thinking about the next game. Tipped out to Joseph, and that's three. Ten assist game on Wednesday, taking on Florida A&M. As we return to action here at Miami, and George Miller gets his fourth field goal. Last four games from a scoring standpoint, but becoming more of a playmaker. No good clear out. Another good set. The same set, ATO off the timeout, except for on the other side of the floor. You score, you get a stop. You're trying to get this thing to three possessions going into the last four minutes. But you got to contain North Chad O'Meer, and that's easier said than done. Staying with one program forever. He also is very adamant that he does not like the transfer portal. He's not going to recruit transfers. He wants to recruit freshmen and develop them like Landon Moore. Eileen, or Aileen, excuse me, his wife, Alex and Tommy, his sons, are watching, I'm sure. And... Joseph for three. Knocks it in. Rob's dad was an all-time great swimming coach at Penn State. Rob yeah. grew up a Penn State fan. Landed more. 
adding to the highlight reel. And have 40 points, nine rebounds against Hawaii. It was 16 of 23 from the field six days ago. Joseph, nice pass. Miller into double figures as well, but an answer from Max Land. They've stuck to their game plan. Miami has just made plays. There just might be superior talent-wise, but that doesn't mean that that takes away from your game plan. Under five to play. Giles to Cohen. What a nice delivery. The answer has been yes. yes. They've gotten him the ball in good spots. It's the quality of the catch. It's down low in the paint. Oh, a rainbow three from Bensley Joseph. Bensley Joseph. This is just his third game of the season in double figures. 14 points, 5 of 7 shooting. Make it 25 for Cohen. Cohen working on O'Meara. He's got four fouls. And Long fouled Cohen, who's got a chance for a three-point play. 13-point game. On the drive. Heck of a take. Poplar extends his career high. Good Louisville lineage. You see the Louisville Cardinals. The Yum Center in about 15 minutes. Have a day, Wooga Poplar. Since you put it that way, <laughs> sure. It's all about how you spin it. Five to shoot here. Gregory, nice dish. And two more at the rim. St. Francis was tied at the half, but Miami was the better team, scoring 54 points, making 56 points in the second 20. And then Jim Darnega doesn't like that slam at the finish. Old school.